Daniel, your horse is here. All right, all right, I'm coming. Hey, Cass, no luck with Theo? No, I'm sorry. He's not getting any further than haltering and leading. He freaks out when I apply any sort of pressure. Such a pity. Maybe I'll try and work with him. Maybe. He needs a lot of help, and I have too many horses to work with right now. I just might. Thanks for the help anyway, Cass. Yeah, of course. No problem, Danny. Can you go put Theo in a pen down there so I can finish with Lady? Hey, honey. It's Dad. Um, I might need some help out here with one of the horses. Oh, sure. I'll be out there in a little bit. Hey, Dad. What horse did you need help with? This one. I've named him Theodore. They found him by the manor. Oh, really? How did you manage to get him? They caught him and sent him to an auction for some reason. I happened to be there and a kill buyer was going to buy him and I just couldn't bring myself to let that happen. I sent him to a trainer, but she couldn't get any progress with him. Oh, really? Why do you need my help? I think you may be able to help him. He deserves a second chance. Really? Well, I'll see what I can do. Hi everybody, it's Arya Emberford. Welcome back to my channel. I am finally ready to share my Theodore's story. Theo is the big horse behind me. 
Him and I have been working together for around eight months. My father found him and picked him up because he couldn't let this beautiful little horse go to a kill buyer. And uh, my father asked if I could help with him because I have patience for this stuff. Um, which I said yes to and I have absolutely fallen in love with this big guy. Theo is, we think, either a Clydesdale or a Shire. We are not 100% sure yet. Um, and my vet thinks that he's around 8 or 9 years old. And uh, he is j almost 18 hands. So he is a big horse. He's a big boy. Um, and obviously he's still growing. And he's still a baby. And his mind is still developing. So we are going to treat him as such. Um, and it took a lot to get here. There were just weeks where he would just not let us come near him and I would just sit and you know with him while he's eating just to make sure he knows that we're safe and uh, he can trust us. Theo was another big reason why I made the decision to sell Gwen. I put my own needs above the needs of my animals and that wasn't fair. I think someone else could be more suited for Gwen and give her the proper time you know because I wasn't able to give all three of my horses, two of which are very young and need a lot more help than, you know, an already established horse does. So that was a big reason why I made the decision and I think she needs to go to a better home more suited to her. Anyways, um, Theodore has made a lot of progress. We are riding now. I finally had our very, very first ride, which I will insert clips. Um, of our first ride a month and a half ago and he did amazing he is such an amazing horse and you know I think he did have a little foundation in riding or a lot of foundation and whatever happened to him must have you know toppled his confidence and really scarred him because he understands pressure he understands what you know certain things I do with the reins mean and what I do with my legs he understands all of that so we are really just working on fattening this guy up and putting some good muscle on this guy because he really needs it. He's a skinny boy, but we are all here. I'm working with an amazing team of vets to make sure he's getting everything he needs, all uh, supplements and stuff like that, everything he needs to meet his dietary uh, requirements and uh, you know flourish into a good little horse. Well, not little, he's quite massive. Um, <laughs> he is the biggest horse I've ever owned, uh, but he is honestly the gentlest, the sweetest horse I've ever met. Now, Theo actually has met Bridget. Um, once we got the all clear from our vets that he wasn't carrying anything or he wasn't sick, um, we started introducing him with other horses just to keep him busy. Even if they're not together, he can still see other, other friends. Um, and we introduced them and uh, we left for maybe an hour to get lunch. Um, they were in different pens and uh, when we got back, they were scratching each other from across the fence. So I think Theo made a new friend. <laughs> um, Theo still is really connected to me only. He gets uncomfortable with other people around him. He does let my parents and a couple of the workers around here touch and groom him and halter him but he does get a little nervous with new people, which is to be expected. I understand um, and we're working with that. And obviously I'm not gonna let someone who doesn't know this horse night near him because uh, he's, he's a little sensitive and quite reactive. Um, right now we have actually introduced pole work and some small, small cavalettis into our rides, um, which he is grasping pretty well. He understands that he's to step over the poles um, and he's just doing an amazing job and I'm really proud of him. We have introduced, like I said, some little jumps um, and again, we've talked to a vet. He can jump. Um, he's not one of those like heavier draft reeds. Um, he's pretty light. So we do feel comfortable doing some light jumping with him and we go on trail rides and we do lots of fun stuff with this guy now as he's gotten more comfortable with you know other environments and you know i think we did a good job at desensitizing 
that's my thing but um that's 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 my Theo I'm I'm really excited to share more of his journey I was a little nervous to share it as I didn't want you know to to share it when him and I were going through a rough patch but right now it feels like we're going all the way up all the way up hopefully I can use him for dressage and equitation thankfully a lot of organizations around Jorvik allow draft horses to compete in their competitions so uh, maybe eventually we'll do that once he's ready and comfortable enough to do that. Um, I'm really excited to see the progress and where him and I end up. I say that about every horse that I get, but he's very special. Um, but with that being said, I think that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you love my Theo. I'm very excited that I finally get to show him off on my channel. If you like this video, to make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, everybody!